Hi everyone, this is Mr Neil Wright, here, consultant audiologist and director of ClearWax. Thank you for joining me in another demonstration video of our recently developed Waxscape, which is due to be launched very, very soon. If you are interested in the Waxscape, feel free to email info at clearwax.co.uk and we should add you to our mailing list. So this is of a patient, uh, a young child, age four, who attended with his mother today and they've got an extremely blocked left ear and they also had uh, unbeknown to us at this stage, uh, underlying glue ear. And I'm just using our smallest speculum here, which is a 3.5 millimeter speculum. So uh, with children, um, I typically use the smallest speculum because obviously children's ears are uh, on average a lot um, smaller and, and narrower than adults. And I've just instilled some olive oil spray here as well as it's really, really impacted. So the olive oil spray I use, it's called Clear. Um, olive oil ear spray, it's medical grade olive oil. Um, if you are a member of the public and you wish to purchase this, please visit our website www.clearwax.co.uk um, and you can visit our online shop. If you're a, a care professional and you want to purchase in bulk and um, sell on to your customers, uh, visit our website again, select sign in and you can register as a professional. And once you're registered as a professional, you have access to our trade shop um, where we also have trade prices for all of our products. So the oil has helped slightly but you can see it's still really really impacted and being a child they got a very narrow ear. Um, the wax has been pushed in, they, uh, the child uh, has been poking in the ear. Uh, the, the child's very excited to see uh, my YouTube plaque so uh, the plaque that I had on, uh, on our shelf um, is a uh, 100 subscriber pass Passing of 100 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, sorry. Um, so it's incredible that the child, uh, the child wanted to subscribe, so um, again, the, the URL or the channel name, and they're going to um, subscribe with their mum to watch some more videos. I just inserted an ear hook here, and although the ear hook didn't remove this wax, it was really, really, as I said, was, even with the hook, it was so lodged, it dissected through some of the wax, which then can help remove... Um, or bring forward at least some of the wax because it's, it's smaller in smaller pieces so you can see I'm just bringing this forward where the, the first bend is just to the right there so I'm going to just stretch the ear open again just because it had a very narrow entrance so I'm just keeping a jar the first bend and I'm trying to just bring this through at the same time and I'm just using this rocking motion you can see I'm going getting a suction grip and I'm just wriggling this left to right and I'm just trying to bring it up as well because uh, the wax, there's a bit of a, uh, as you enter the, the ear canal, um, there's a, a, a decline in the um, orientation. So I'm just trying to lift it up and away. I'm just going back to the ear hook. And again, it's just, it's kind of matted wax as well. I'm just bringing this up. You can see some of it's come away. So I'm just going to stretch the ear open again. So just you trying to use a Jobson horn, just kind of get in and behind. And the Jobson horn, I think it got some of it out, but it also squashed some of this wax um, at the base of the ear canal. So it's almost like spreading it like butter. So I've just gone back in with the, the suction probe here and I'm lifting up and away. Now we have got different speculum sizes. This is the 3.5 mil, we've got a 4.25 mil, and we've got a 5 and a 5.75. If I'm honest, I've never really had to go above the 4.25. Um, if I just had this 3.5, I think I'd be fine as well. And You can see we've got a, an opening at the top, a slit, and that slit's really, really useful. Um, it helps with the maneuverability of the sucker. So you can see I'm just moving it about there. Um, so yeah, even a 3.5 millimetre uh, specular for me, is, it would be fine with all cases, truth be told, but a 4.25 I think is going to be the most commonly used, but yeah, we've got the full sizes, some people prefer larger sizes. Now, just going into the ear, and that's the posterior part of the eardrum, there's some dead skin there, it's almost like a sac. It was, it, so I suspect that this eardrum was bulging a bit more, and that there, I did tr just hover over with the sucker but um, it was actually kind of part of the eardrum, so it's almost like the eardrum was sagging, there's fluid behind there, 
which caused the adrenaline to bulge, and this bulging is now subsiding. So there's less. So there is confirmed glue. I did tympanometry. There's a flat B tymp with a normal ear canal volume, which is typical of glue ear. So sometimes I just want to do hover over. I don't know. You can see there, and I, straight away that's part of the eardrum. So I'm not going to continue with that. And I think that that sac was full of fluid, and the fluid fluid is draining away naturally. So the eardrum's still a bit dull. You can see there's a the handle of malleus. It's slightly inflamed. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, if again, if you are interested in the wax goat, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you. Bye.